so this is my watermelon patch and uh, the watermelon that came out this morning I picked three of my guests the largest one was 46 pounds the next largest one was 44 pounds and they came out around around 38 pounds uh, the ones that I picked I guess I've picked about six so far and people are asking me how I grow these big melons I do not have a green thumb but there's some there's several things that can make these things work out and then also they want to know if uh, I save the seeds and uh, no normally I just go to the feed store and I buy fresh seeds but I've also been very successful at taking seeds like this one's from the biggest melon that I have so far and I uh, clean them up pretty good uh, rinse them off and then put them in water and I'll store them in water for two to three weeks and uh, then I'll take them out and uh, and uh, empty all the water out and then spread them on a blue paper towel shop towel and let them dry until they're really dry and then I'll put them in a jar and seal them up uh, with a napkin inside and uh, and they they do very very well I've had some good success with uh, doing it this way don't know what the real procedure is for doing this but uh, that's how I do it but I want to show you how it is that uh, I, I've never watered these melons they're organic I don't use pesticides I don't use fertilizer and uh, so how do I get and, and I don't have to weed you, you see there's a weed over there but uh, you see that there's no real weeds to, to worry about or contend with so I'll show you and I, my tiller doesn't work so how is it that I make these nice rows with no real effort I mean it takes effort but not a big problem um, how is it that I do this and really the secret is um, wood chip mulch and the wood chip mulch that I use I had a friend bring to me she's an arborist and uh, she has some decomposed wood chips and that's what I like to start with and uh, if you start with the fresh green wood chips then you've got to wait a while for they really begin to disintegrate and decompose uh, because they can really rob your your plants of the nitrogen they need okay so <clears throat> let's just see how how this do how this works When my friend Dory dropped off the wood chips, um, they didn't look as grayed out as they do now. They were partially decomposed, but uh, they looked pretty fresh and they were all wood chips. And uh, I spread them out so that they were about a foot thick. And so I just want to show you um, <laughs> what that looks like. But I'm going to walk out here and uh, just going to take away some soil. Now, mind you, I haven't watered. But underneath, these wood chips have completely decomposed. Look at that. And there's moisture there. These were all wood chips. Now she brought these to me. I finally downed the soil down here. And by the way, there's, you know, and the earthworms are nice to, to find in here, but I finally get down to the soil but you can see how the wood chips have just disintegrated into dirt because this was this was a foot to a foot and a half thick with uh, these wood chips and uh, so that's uh, that's what you want the reason this is so important is well number one you don't have a lot of weeding to do in your garden I do come out here occasionally and pull weeds but it's so easy and simple to do so let me interject here that these two melons right here are going to be big melons and uh, probably this one in the front is going to be, oh, maybe close to a 40 pound melon. And uh, we got plenty of melons in the garden here. Let's see if, if I can get this down here to show you. And uh, you can't see them because they're hidden, hidden uh, by the, all the foliage. And uh, that's good because the crows then perhaps aren't attracted to them as, as they were several years in the past. Now about those weeds. Um, yes, I have weeds pop up from time to time and I'll just go and I'll, you know, I'll pick them up and uh, No big deal And uh, that's one of the things I like about the mulch Yes, I do get out here and I do pull grasses or weeds that kind of come up But you can see it takes very little effort uh, and energy to take care of a, a problem like that Okay this mulch is uh, not green, it's decomposed, 
And but I just wanted to show you how easy it is. I wish I could see in my camera. The glare is just unbelievable, so I can't see what I'm showing you. But I want to show you without my tiller how I can make a row, assuming this was green mulch, because this mulch I can plant into, just get it down to the dirt and plant your seeds. But uh, if it were green mulch, this is how I'd handle it. Oops. I would just take my pitchfork, and this mulch is easy to move. That's easy to move, easy to move. And then get it down to the dirt, and uh, just kind of mix it up a little bit with the dirt, what's left there. And now, I can come along and I can just plant in this stuff. So I'll just come along with my seeds, put it in here, cover it up. It's real, it's, see how moist this is? Never been watered all year long, um, but it's got so much moisture and the moisture is consistent and you need it to be moist for your plants and you need the nutrients. You don't have to have a green thumb. You just have to have a way to feed your soil and to keep the moisture consistent. And uh, so that's why I like wood chip mulch. It's just an awesome thing to work with. And that's what I planted all my plants in and they do really well.